What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, we're heading to the workshop to start the build on a 1100 wheel horsepower plus R35 GTR VR38 block. First up, the most important thing, choosing the screen I want to run on the drive to the workshop. I really love all the designs and the features of the C1212 dash, but you just can't go past the Lambo style taco, so let's run with that for now. So we're here at the shop and you can see the block in the background, the main girdle has already been removed and it's ready to work on. Step one, we're basically using the engine manual to select the right main bearings. As this is a brand new block and crank and the OEM bearings from Nissan are of a very high quality, this will give us the best clearances. For this block and crank, the right bearings from Nissan were 34, 3, 3 and 3. We actually cross-referenced this with the engine manual a couple of weeks ago by checking the markings on the block and the crank. And what we're doing here is just checking the fitment and clearances to ensure that they're within spec. Now that the main bearings are in place, we'll actually be using plastic gauge to check the main bearing clearances because plastic gauge is really quick and easy to use compared to a dull bore gauge or a micrometer. Next up was the rod bearings. As this build is using aftermarket forged rods and pistons, we can't really rely on the engine manual and need to do some measuring. We have a set of big end bearings that are in the middle of the various grades that are on offer as a starting point. In this instance, we found that we might need a few different sets of OEM big end bearings to get perfect clearances. As this is time consuming, it will be done offline. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you that. Now that we're done with the crank and rods, we're moving back over to the block and putting the crank into the block. Once we've done this, we'll be using the plastic gauge material to start checking clearances of the main bearings. As mentioned, plastic gauge is really quick and easy to use and all you need to do is put some of the material in place. So here we are putting some of the plastic gauge material in place where the main bearings would go. This basically leaves a little bit of a residue which you can use to measure and check clearances. With the plastic gauge material now being placed on, the next step is basically to place the girdle back in place and now comes the hardest part which is to install the ARP2000 main studs and torque them according to the manual. As you can see so far it hasn't been that hard at all which is why torquing down the main studs is actually harder than the process so far. If you're still watching at this point, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe so I can keep the content rolling and stay tuned for part two. We now install the ARP2000 main studs. Obviously these have a specific order in which they need to be torqued down. Initially, you can actually just screw them into place like this, um, but when it comes down to actually torquing it down, we do need to go via a specific order. So here we're just basically hand tightening and getting everything locked down and then we'll get the torque wrench out and do them as per the service manual. Once this is all locked down, what we're doing now is getting the torque wrench out and referring to the service manual to see in which order they need to be torqued down. Once we knew the order and the torque values, it was just as simple as following the process as shown in the manual. After this step, we actually do need to remove everything and see the compressed plastic gauge on the crank. In this next clip here, you can see some of the residue and we essentially use this to check the clearances. Our main bearing clearances were bang on, so now we have the bearing sorted and we can send the rotating assembly to the machine shop for balancing. Thanks for tuning in guys, hope this was interesting for you. In part two, once the rotating assembly is back from balancing, we'll be installing the rods and pistons. So please do like and subscribe if you want to see part two. And I'll catch you in the next one.